Hey guys, this is our study and welcome to Comic Space and ahead of a huge San Diego Comic Con presentation by Marvel Studios this year, which we are eagerly waiting for some major announcements, some major news, and some major revolution. Ahead of all of that, we have some major news coming up about Marvel Phase 6 and Marvel Phase 7 and how that is going to be shaping up, especially at the Marvel television side which obviously means all of the Disney Plus thing which they have basically renamed to Marvel Television. So we have tons of news on that front and we are going to talk all about that. So again a lot of interesting titles are in active development and which would further be greenlit. So as our update comes from Daniel RPK and again if you have been following our channel or have been part of the rumor mill. We like to give Daniel RPK a lot more reverence than any other industry insider as they are also in quite a great track record as well. As they went on to further outline some of the projects that could be green light before the D23 presentation this year. Which includes Nova, Blonde Phantom, The Punisher, Wigan series and in White Tiger series and also Strange Tales. Which I'm thinking it is probably the same show that we have been talking about quite a while. And we are calling it Strange Academy featuring America Chavez and Wong and Strange. In all of those projects, Noah has to be the project. Because again, the project has been speculated for the longest time. We have gotten to talk of Noah for the long time. And again, we have been talking about it, but at the end of the day, nothing comes up. But again, Marvel Studios has been in development of that project for a couple of years. And again, they and before even that they actually were developing it then and they just kind of froze that project for a while and now they are reworking it and i think the possibility of no project happening is a lot more than ever and again it is pretty much going to be down for the road probably part of the phase six around the corner of secret was that i'm thinking nova coming back into the secret was and especially in the final phase it depends how much role he is actually going to play with all of the multiversal aspect and even with secret wars because again Marvel Studios taken a very different route with Secret Wars than they took with Infinity War and Endgame and again they just had every single character that they have introduced just team up. It is going to be very different moving with Secret Wars and again we are also going to see a lot of multiversal heroes as well. So obviously they are going to have to balance it out with how much character count both of the Avengers films is going to have and from what we have heard it is already crazy like 60 plus characters but again they still have to balance it out and manage all of these characters and give equal footing as well given the caliber of the nova and the character of the nova nova for sure can be introduced in the multiverse saga but i think the further exploration of the character and the story probably would be leaning into the mutant saga and moving forward we are going to come back to phase 5 a little bit and going to talk about some other projects as well but all of the projects that we are talking about now are in active development that means they are not yet even green lit by Marvel Studios they are still kind of just looking forward to and the another I think the most prominent project has to be the Punisher series following the events of Born Again and building up the street level side of Marvel Studios furthermore and just getting into the nitty gritty of the Punisher or maybe even making it rated R. So again I think that is the category that Power Studios is slowly exploring uh, even with the Born Again which we know it is going to be very grounded very gritty show but we are still not sure that it is actually going to be in rated R show. So I think furthermore exploring like I said the street level side of the MCU the Punisher series has to be there. I think that's the one of the most promising and the prominent name that has to be onto the Disney Plus side moving forward for sure. And again, Mouse Studios is slowly exploring the rated R side with Deadpool and Wolverine just being like the first film that they have ever done in rated R. And, it, and this is like Disney's first ever rated R film that they have ever did in the history of 100 years. So they are obviously going to slowly explore that genre. But I think another project that we have heard uh, promptly about and that is the Blonde Phantom project. So again, Marvel Studios is for sure moving with it. And again, we have talked about Blonde Phantom in the previous video as well. Again, I think it comes to the point. The series or even a kind of a special presentation or maybe just in very limited series like 4 or 5 episodes much like Echo. I don't think so Blonde Phantom is going to have too much to do with any of the other stuff with probably not a main and premise storyline which is the multiverse and secret wars and everything that comes with it 
but probably a very different branch of Marvel Studios and exploring that. And again, like Marvel Studios have branched out into a bunch of genre and especially moving forward from phase four, which they have street level side, cosmic side and the main and primary storyline, which is Secret Wars and very dark and gritty side with Red Wolf by Night and Born Again and projects such that. So again, the two more projects that I want to talk about is White Tiger and the Wiccan series. So again, I think these are the two shows that are kind of on the fence, I would say, because again, none of them are green lit and they just kind of figured it out. And the Wiccan series, I think Marvel Studios probably would like to focus on much more concrete stories or much more concrete characters if they can for sure explore Wiccan, White Tiger and go for it. But again, the whole reinfrastructuring of Marvel Studios and Bob Iger coming up, they are probably going to major their option moving forward for sure. So again, not getting too much ahead of ourselves. And coming back to Phase 5 and Phase 6, the other projects that we know so far that haven't been officially announced by Marvel Studios are Vision Quest. And again, it is going to be an exploration of Vision. We are going to see his family coming back. And again, it is pretty much like in Wonder Vision Season 3. I would say, again, I think it is the continuation of that same storyline with WandaVision, Agatha and Vision Quest. And again, that's not the official name of the show, but that's what we have been calling it. And another show that Marvel haven't officially announced and that is Wonder Man, which is, I believe, should be coming up next year. But again, but we gotta see how Marvel Studio is going to manage this late moving forward. Uh, they're just going to restrict themselves from two live action Disney Plus series, much like this year. And again, there are a bunch of projects that we know that are coming, but we don't have an official release date attached to them. What if season 3? And there's Marvel Zombies. And I think the most prominent show that we can speculate about that eventually will lead into season 2 because again, Marvel Studios has been quite skeptical about making season 2s and more focus on limited series has to be the Miss Marvel season 2 and probably Moon Knight. Because again, projects like Moon Knight, Werewolf by Night and characters like Black Knight from The Eternals and the Blade film is gonna lead into the Midnight Suns project. So they might like to do another the season of Moon Knight and leading up to that team up. So again, this is not a full slate breakdown. This is much of an overview of an outline that we are speculating about it. We still haven't done a full breakdown on what we can expect at this year's San Diego Comic Con, which I think we will eventually talk about it and do a full breakdown what we can expect at this year's San Diego Comic Con which is again shaping up to be like a major major one. So for this one I think it is time for me to see you guys off. Well that's it for this one guys but before you go you can consider to grab the subscribe button so don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel or DC update. I'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out. Thanks for listening to me. This is your host Adi signing off. See you in the next one.